Hi and welcome back. I think the the cluster is set up. Let's just go check what's in there. So this is my resource group. If I tap in, should be able to see all the contents that were created when I created a cluster. So if you can see, I have my cluster. I have quite a few storage systems that were created. A load balancer, a public IP. A virtual network and my virtual machine scale set. So let's go in to the cluster and see my endpoint. Okay, this is my endpoint. If I want to publish something from my from my code, Visual Studio or my TFS, so this is where I'm gonna be. This is the endpoint that I. I'm going to be talking to or any other client application that wants to connect to the application is going to talk to this endpoint. So and uh, and we have this very nice explorer from service fabric which kind of lets me know my cluster held the number of applications deployed over there and the number of nodes and stuff like that. So let us just see what's in there. It's trying to load. Right now it's clear. I have just one node, zero application running, no errors, no warning, nothing. Once I deploy applications, you can see all the applications coming over here right now. I got nothing. So these are the system applications, services that run in the background in each of your nodes, the cluster manager, the failure, failure manager, fault analysis, image store, naming and upgrade. We will get into details of what each of these system services do, but for now we just want to know that it's there. That's it. So let's go back and check what else is interesting. Yeah, these are storage accounts. Tank don't have much in there. So let's get into the load balancer stuff. Uh, if you remember, we configured some of the custom endpoints, uh, endpoint ports. That is what we're gonna get in my health probe. Yeah, these are the endpoints 81, 82, 83. Uh, the default probe gateway of 19000 and uh, the explorer gateway 19080. Okay, so you, you have all this inbound rules and load balancing rules in place. So if you wanna add any of the, if, if your application needs any of the ports to be opened, uh, then you just come back here and add them here. Uh, let me see, let me see what else is interesting to look at. I think that's pretty much it. So in the next session, we will start developing applications and then let's try and deploy into our local cluster or the service fabric cluster that has been set up in Azure. Thank you.